All right, so what is going on, YouTube world? It's been a long time since we have talked about this couch, but here we go. We are going to update y'all on how many years has it been? Five years. Five years on this couch. Coming up. Right meow. So, we're going to begin talking about this couch and our experience with this couch, and we're going to start off with the comfort of this couch over the course of five years. For me personally, the couch is very, very comfortable. I have never felt not, I have never not felt comfortable on this couch. I've slept on this couch many times. This past weekend, we just, uh, well, our daughter just had a sleepover on this couch and they slept Tonight. on the couch all weekend. And for me, it's personally, I think it's really comfortable. What do you think? I think it's pretty comfortable couch. I mean, we're obviously comparing the couch from Ikea and a certain price point. So clearly there's different price points, different comfort levels, but for the price point of this couch, the comfort after five years has not changed. The way this couch held up from the cushion perspective and the pillows, nothing is sagging anywhere. And there's no like dips in it. You know how some couches have after like sitting in certain spots mm -hmm. for a while, you can tell. None of that happened with this couch and we're definitely using it every single day. And now we have two kids also using it back and forth up and down off of it so couch is great comfort is i think it's pretty good comfortable couch so the comfort is really good and we do use it a lot and because we use it a lot we have to also clean it regularly so cleaning this couch is a, i wouldn't say it's not a very difficult task i mean you just gotta unbolt the back here the backrest and uh undo all the zippers on all the pads you pull this up you go and you wash it and it comes back almost brand new looking clean now we did do an update and we got a new cover for ours recently can you tell them about the cover that you have? yeah so i want to back up just a little bit so cleaning is very easy the original cushions we did not clean every single time the bottom parts and the back because you have to unbolt the couch most of the yeah. times i just unzip the cushions and i unzip the pillow cases and i just wash them like if we have any spots on it it just spot clean usually it's pretty good and comes right off if not i just spray one of those um stain removers on it and then you just wash it and it's actually uh doing a really good job taking anything off of the couch but yes recently we got a new um covers and it's because we have ikea chairs with these covers that i ordered from etsy they do custom um custom um covers they have multiple different fabrics depending on what you want and how you want it to look from the color to a type of fabric uh this i would have to look it up we probably can put it on there what type of fabric this is but this is washable it's pretty soft it's very soft yeah than the original yes it's actually i like this much better than the original so the whole entire couch everything completely the same as the original cushions or covers. Uh, I believe I paid somewhere around $600. So I think we bought a couch for what, about a thousand ish, $1,100, $1,200, something original like this. original when we got it? I don't even remember. It's been years ago at this point. Yeah, I, I think it's somewhere around like a bit more than a thousand dollars. I mean, yes, you paying, you know, Six thousand, six hundred, six thousand, six hundred dollars for cushions, but it's still very washable. It's easy to clean because I've tested these this fabric on our chairs that we use in the same exact color. So, because there's no dips and holes or sagging anywhere going on, all you just put a new covers and it looks like a brand new couch. Mm -hmm. So, they're excellent. Yeah, it's excellent. The only issue that we had once was moving it. Uh, one side mm -hmm. is kind of bent and one side is kind of straight on the backrest. So that would be one piece of advice I would tell y'all. If y'all are going to move it this couch, uh, make sure you completely break it down Take when it you do move it. So uh, we got the new covers. We got the pillows for the backrest, which are really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then easy to move. Yeah. So as I was alluding to with the whole moving situation. So one thing I think is a massive advantage of this couch is that it is very modular easy to break apart, easy to move, it's very light, it's very easy to take apart. The legs come off simply by twisting mm -hmm. them off. And yeah, we made the mistake of letting the movers move it with having the backrest um, attached. And that was a big mistake. So if you get this couch and if you're a younger family that's on the move and you know moving from place to place like we were before we purchased our home, uh, 
yeah, just remember to take this couch all the way apart when you are going to move it. Yes, uh, but what do you think overall of the five years using the couch? Uh, over the, all the five years, I'm very happy with the couch. I mean, I think it's an awesome couch until you sit on something more expensive. <laughs> Once you sit on something more expensive, you instantly feel, oh, this is doesn't it doesn't provide the same softness of cushions as some other pieces of furniture like our friends have but for the price i think this is excellent couch and the quality is excellent too because moving it two times one two three times three times, yeah, three, three times. having two kids and it's a white couch the original cushions also are white if you guys can you know find the original videos that we shot i think it's excellent but I think at this point, I would prefer something a little bit more cushiony because I think we're getting old and crumbly. <laughs> yeah. So our friends have the Ranger couch, I think, from Restoration Hardware. And another one of our friends has a couch from Natuzzi, I think yes. is how it's pronounced. And when you, after you sit on those couches, then it's kind of like, oh, wow, like a couch can really be this comfortable. But, however, comma, there is a massive price, price jump between <laughs> those couches and this. Like, once again, like Kat said, this is a $1,000 couch. These are six and seven and $8,000 couches that we're talking about when you talk about design within reach, yeah. restoration hardware. Um, I mean, even like crate and barrel couches ain't cheap. No. So those are things that you got to keep in mind. And, 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 and those couches are also a lot harder to wash. So that is something else that you really need Wash, to keep in mind. And they're a lot heavier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this couch is, couch is very light, very modular, very easy to move. And I also feel like, you know, oh, if we break it, it's just $1,000, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's just one of those. It depends what you're looking for and what are you prepared to spend and how comfortable and cushiony you want it. I think I'm getting to the point, like I said, I want something a little bit more cushiony. I like how low it is. I would still prefer like the same low couch for us, but um, I think I want, um, what are these things called? The armrest. The armrest. I, I don't, can never remember the word. I think I prefer the armrests a little bit now and also with the, our son hopping up and down. I feel like maybe it can prevent him from just flipping over sometimes. <laughs> Or he's going to jump off the armrest, who knows? Or that too, I guess. And then after living with this couch for five years, I like the pillows. And like I said, they held up very well. But they it is getting sometimes a little bit annoying because they shift. So these pillows do not attach in any kind of way to the back of the couch. They're fully, you know, removable, which is convenient if you want to sleep on it because it gives you more space. But if that's not something you use it for, sometimes it gets a little annoying because the pillows get tucked in and you constantly have to straighten out and fix them up. So, But it's going to be very hard to uh, pick up a different price tag after using this couch for five years and it's still great. Now we put the brand new covers on it just, what, last week? Yeah. And I'm it like, that man, much softer. it looks like a brand new couch. I'm like, well, maybe we can hang off a couple more years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll see. But overall, I, I would say our five years experience with this couch has been excellent. Yes. I think the return on investment that you get with this couch is outstanding, probably best in the market in yes. its class. Um, it's modular. You can, you know, you can move that chase over mm -hmm. there. You can do a lot of stuff with it. All the other things we said about it mm -hmm. being light. I think this couch is perfect for the, I guess, uh, newer, younger families mm -hmm. that are like, you know, trying to still figure out where they're going to land and life and all that kind of stuff. But once you get a bit more settled, will you want something better? I think yes, but like all things in life, nothing is perfect. So even though you do get that, you know, design within reach or, um, you know, uh, restoration couch, you know, you're going to drop some serious money yeah. and it's going to be very difficult to wash. So there's always trade-offs in life, but overall, we would still recommend this couch, even though I guess it's time for us to move on to something. Yeah, I think we're going to have a hard time moving because, like I said, these cushions made it, or covers made it, like a brand new couch, and I'm like, mm, it kind of looks really good still. Yeah. But yeah, maybe we'll move on, but I would say the same thing. If you are in the market, on the market for the couch, this couch from Ikea is definitely 
a well-built couch, light, easy to clean, easy to maintain. You can get different covers for it and so on and so on. And 100% would recommend it. This was a great purchase. I don't regret it yeah. by no means. I Especially think... with the custom company you found. Yes. And then I can put the link to this Etsy shop um, just so if you guys want anything, you know, something like this to order. They do a lot of, I believe, IKEA uh, furniture. Mm-hmm. And colors covers. and materials and mm-hmm. all kind of stuff. They have stuff. a lot of choices. The customer service is excellent. They reach out. They talk to you. They want to make sure because we have four chairs and I ordered two covers and then I ordered two more. So they dub- double check, make sure I did not place the same order twice. Shipping was much faster than they originally promised. So um, definitely would recommend them. But yeah, couch is great. I think... It's an excellent investment, and we definitely got our money back over and over and over from it. From it's it's been heavily used. Mm-hmm. Is that it? I don't think I have anything else. All I right. still love our couch. So I guess that's it. That's probably the last review we're gonna do about yeah. this couch. Five years with the IKEA Soderham sofa. It's been great to us, and we think we still think after five years that if you get this couch, mm-hmm. it will be great to you. Unless you're a baller and you can afford a $30,000 couch, then by all means, go ahead and do that. (laughs) So just pick your poison. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.